I'm Mike Stewart, and these are the good old days. Hey. You ready to do this? Your lens cap's on. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. You know, any day where you just get to go out and get slimy with your pals is a good day. <laughs> we gotta do an episode about me cleaning my garage. <laughs> I feel like every man in America. Cleaning my garage and then my family coming in and wrecking it in 12 hours. Every man in America will relate to that one. Don't look over there. Jesus. Don't look over there. Don't look at me. <laughs> Gotta hook that up at some point. Whoa. It's gonna be for a night mission. Dang. That's the devil's work right there. <laughs> That's the dark arts. All right. Where are we heading? Time to go make the fucking donuts. Where are we heading? We can't say the F word on this channel. Bleep that yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me do that again. <laughs> Time to go make the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> We're going down to shore, eastern shore, and we're gonna try to hit the Cambridge trifecta. We're gonna try to get snakehead, bass, and catfish. on the snake head early. It's gonna be hot today. How hot's it gonna be, Dave? 94 degrees. 94 degrees. What's it gonna be with the humidity? Like all that feels like bull 115. 115 with the heat index. I found that the most um, important element to snakehead fishing for me, if I had to choose one, uh, wind. If it's super, super, super windy, ain't gonna happen. We're gonna have good wind today. If I had to pick a second um, variable, it would definitely be water temperature. I found when the water temperature gets like way too cold, the snakehead get a little bit too sluggish, tough to get them to, to bite. Uh, and also, man, when it's like hot, hot, like it's gonna be today, it can be a little bit tricky. But we're gonna get on the snakehead early, let the water temperature heat up, and the good news is we should be able to shoot some carp later with the water temperatures being as hot as they're gonna be, the carp are gonna be coming up and gulping air on the top of the water. So we should get some of those guys too. What's the plan? We're gonna go to another spot. We might come back here later. The right spot at the wrong time is the wrong spot. Let's get on.
All right, fun day so far, interesting day. Stewart's caught one snakehead and a bass. Uh, he's messing around in a ditch right now trying to scrounge up another snakehead. Uh, I did fly my drone into the water. I knew it was coming. Last time I was there, I flew under the bridge and there was like a weird cross breeze. So I, I knew I had to be careful, but this time I went under there and whatever breeze is under that bridge just like, just took the drone away and I kind of panicked, hit the wrong joystick. It hit the pillar and then went straight into the water. Giant fry ball on the edge. This is definitely a snakehead. You can tell by the distinct uh, head shape. Tail. Dang. That is definitely a snake head. Look at the tail, look at the head. That thing is a monster. Bon appetit. Catch and drag. Catfish King! Oh, you got a catfish? Yeah. Gosh darn Catfish King. Would you look at that? This is over here squeaking. These barbs, guys. One, two, three. See how I'm gripping them? If you get stuck with one of these, it is worse than a bee sting. Look at Whoa, that. Look at its tongue. Look, it's like screaming at you. <laughs> I'll give you five bucks if you put your hand in there. No, I'm kidding, bro. He was going to do it. <laughs> Andrew was going to do it. And then if you look real deep down inside there, you can see it's got another set of teeth. Look down in there, guys. To crush, crush up like crustaceans and stuff wow. like that. Turtle. So. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. Guys Enjoy, guys. Happening. Part of the reason we're able to fish these pristine lands is you got to show respect for the landowners. You know what I mean? The Merediths are such hardworking, good people down here. And, uh, you know, we have this beautiful spot to fish. So it's good to return the favor. They'll get some fish. Those kids will get some fish. They're determined. I can tell. What the hell are we doing now, Stu? Well, I just saw a nice little mud plume in this ditch. See, these areas, there's something in here. This looks more promising. Told you, bro. That's why. Dang, I dude. <laughs> That's Told you, dog. I had that whole thing Told on. Told you, dog. <laughs> I was doubting you. I was like, man, he has lost his mind. And you know what's even crazier about that? That is a foul hook. So it didn't even bite it. I hooked it through the gill. Yeah. So I foul hooked it because if you notice, the bobber didn't even go under. I just pulled it. Oh, it hit me right in the ball. <laughs> God. Across the river, you'll be fine. Go counting winners, ride down the line. You'll be all right, sunny side. I just want to say how you're the, you're the one. He's recording right now. You're the one that put me on my first snake head. Remember we were I driving? Remember. I told my people this morning all about you. I was like, yeah, this was before the craze, uh -huh. right? This was before the craze, or at the very start of it. So and this dude rolls up, he's like, hey man, where can I get some snake heads? So, no, you're already rolling. So me and Jordan sat at the bridge right there, Key Wallace Bridge, yep. for hours. And we saw some snake head, we couldn't put it together. 
We pull up right in the front here. Here, come check out the spot. This place is great. I love it here. Matt's sitting right there. I come up, I'm like, buddy. Yep. My brother's here for his bachelor party. We're going to Ocean City to do some tuna fishing. We've heard snakehead are down here. This is three, four years ago. At least. And Matt was like, you know what? There's a pond up the road, and I've I've seen people catch snakehead in there. Go ahead and go ahead and try it. Yeah. So this is the guy that put me on my first snakehead. You guys see all the pictures. This is the guy that put me on. Matt takes people on tours uh, for snakehead fishing. They do kayak tours here. This is the little black water, right? The little black water. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome um, place. Yeah, we're gonna get Matt out here in another episode at some other time. He's got things to do. Cool. But the Meredith family. Hustlers down here, man. This used we to be an oyster cannery, right? It was a tomato cannery. Oh, okay. And then it was a boat building facility. It was actually the first fiberglass boat building facility in Maryland. Wow. And now it's a boat rental facility. So much history yeah, down man. here, bro. Tons. And we're about to check something out. This is Harriet Tubman's birthplace too, this right? Is. Your family did tours for that for yep. a long time yep. and still, still do. Harriet Tubman this. born here, lived 29 years of her life right here. Holy smokes. Yep. Heck yeah. Right here, trap right. these marshes right there. Wow. Yep. Insane, bro. Cool. All right, Matt. We'll let All you right, get dude. back to it. See you, man. Too. There you go, Dave. All right. Nets to the rescue. We're talking about that window opening. The window is about to open. The window is open. It's open. Look at that boy. Look at that good boy. Very healthy looking fish. Mm -hmm. I think they finally got one. Yeah. No. Oh, it's right here. No, 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 you're good. Set the hook. Hell yeah, dude. Real, 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 real. Fucking gar. Get in it. Holy shit. Don't let it, don't let it. Break the line. Wrapped up? Yeah, he's good. Get the net. Bring his head right to me. That's a fing tank guard, dude. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Woo! All right, man. Woo! We landed on the moon. Damn, dude, that was a serious fish. How's your adrenaline feeling right now? That's good. That was a good one. Holy cow. Check out that bad boy. Yeah. That's a citation guard, bro. Citation, I think, is 36 inches. <sighs> nice work, my friend. You, nice. Your persistence paid off on that one. That's a pretty big one. Dude, the citation gar is 36 inches. So I think you might have caught yourself a, a citation here, buddy. What does citation mean? It means that it's you can get a citation for it, a little certificate. Yeah. From the state of Maryland. I love cert I love certificates. And normally we'll let these go, but since we're gonna do some catch and cook videos, this is a decent one. We'll get some good meat off that and Pretty sick. Look at that prehistoric beast. Monster. God, yeah, get him in the cooler. <laughs> Watch your GoPro. That's nice. Got another gar. Let's see if I can set the hook. These things are so damn hard to set the hook on. Let him take out all of the slack. We really gotta let him take it. This is definitely not a turtle. I feel like he just let go. 
I'm gonna reel up a little bit. Oh, I just saw him. He might have just choked it. I think he's on there good now. Just shook it off. So finicky. I want to let him take it long enough, but not too long. Get the net! I think, yeah, yeah, I need the net. Oh, he's strong. Not as big as yours. Pretty fish. He choked it. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm getting my ass whipped by fish today, bro. What? Got a big one. Feels like a big one. Another gar. Not nearly as big as the other one. Hey, fish on! Fish on! Bring the net, it's a good one! Yeah, it's right there! Oh, I've been waiting all day for this fish. Don't get hung up. Don't go down the waterfall. Yeah. This feels like a good snake head. I didn't get a good look at him. You got that net? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh man. All right, let's not lose this fish. All right. Biggest snakehead of the day. Choke the maps. Nice little four or five pounder, perfect eating size. I'm happy, very happy with that. So it puked this snake carcass up. So it ate a snake. How much for you to eat that fish? Oh bro, <laughs> I don't know man. I already almost threw up eating that little baby mm -hmm. snake head. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> dude. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> Jeez! 
We're eating him. <laughs> Look at that purple face. <laughs> Blue face, boy. Man, you are the catfish king, bro. Ooh. All right, hold on. Let me, let me help you here. Keep sock on it, or keep tension on it. Might be going up over my hip waders. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm going over. Okay. dedication dude pure dedication <laughs> I feel bad that you have to drive home with me dude it, I don't know I don't think it was a turtle I, I think it could have been a guard because it felt yeah I don't know man Jeez. The Whatever. way it was pulling and like the way it was pulling was the turtles are a little more subtle. Yeah. That thing was was really getting after trying to get out of here. Yeah. Hey. We'll never know. We will never know. I'd like to think it was a giant snakehead. The biggest don't, one we've don't, ever don't, seen. Don't 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 do that. The biggest one we've ever seen. Don't do that, bro. So Stewart jumped in the dang water. I think he spooked all the fish. Cause they were like they were hitting pretty good. And he decided he was going to get in the water. And 
caught anything since. Fish on. Dave, fish on. Yeah. I need your help. Never mind, it's just another blue face. Another big old blue face. It's crazy, these catfish, they're almost like purple. to drive and have someone like close their eyes. I just feel like the camaraderie like is dead at that point. <laughs> Do you feel like you're abandoned? Like I, yeah, I'm like, abandoning you to, to go to another world? You're, you are, you're not there. <laughs> Man, I just feel like when it I hurts. drive, like it if someone hurts. else, oh really? If so someone else, someone else falls asleep, I'm like, oh. now I feel good that it I've provided a comfortable environment for them to sleep and I'm gonna drive home and just like think. It depends on the context, bro. Oh. Like, the last time I stayed awake, but that was tough. And you were talking so much, and you looked over. At, pro you looked over at me probably every 15 seconds. Every like fifth or sixth word that you said, you would look over at me to confirm that I was awake. You and were, you dozed I just, off a few times. I just had to keep going. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you weren't listening to me? If you're not gonna listen and, and engage, then just I just, just go to sleep. I didn't want to kill your momentum. You were very passionate. You were talking about things. You were very passionate. You were talking about business and jujitsu and your life. And I, dude, I didn't want to like. I didn't want to be that guy to be like Stuart. I am struggling real bad. My you can say that my heart rate was super low. <laughs> yeah, catching a fish. I'm kind of like let me let me just reel this bad boy in. Even that tank fish that doesn't get you excited? I mean, it was fun. Jeez, dude, I thought you had fun. I, <laughs> listen, you can, I can have fun and not be like peak excitement. It's fun to me. It's just, I like to stay like right Well, what's there. more fun? Like, what's more fun? What the most you... fun is editing these videos. More fun than catching the fish? Oh, yeah. Dude, I could sit in a room and do that for days. I won't go to sleep. Gina has to tell me to go to sleep. Well, it's someone's got to edit the video, so I guess I'm grateful. God, I'm just saying. That's what I live for. I create stuff, man. You should know. I know. You used to write songs and such. I know. I guess I can take this off now. Ah, oh, it's still wet.